One of the common questions we get routinely here at Bentley is how do I mask a title block when I'm sheeting out plan sheets or profile sheets, plan and profile sheets, even cross sections? Is there a way to mask out where that title block is going to go? And here you see an example where we have done just that. In the bottom right corner, we have a title block that's masking out the stations along the bottom of the profile, the elevations along the side, and even the grid line work. So before we get into how this is set up, let's take a look at the final result. A couple things here to note is that this title block is not referenced in. It is actually part of this sheet model. And so it was merged into the sheet seed definition that we use to create the sheets. But we do have a plan view and a profile view that are referenced into the sheet model. Notice that they have this column enabled, and so by right-clicking, you can turn on the priority column, and those are set to a minus one. If, for example, I go into this profile and set the priority back to zero, you'll see the masking no longer takes place. So one of the things we have to look at is when we're attaching reference files, how can we make the reference files come in underneath the active file by setting those to a priority of minus one? So that's one of the things that we'll have to take a look at how to do that. The second thing is, on this title block, we have the title block itself, and then we have a closed or filled shape, which is what we're using to do the masking. Now, by looking at an entry in the title block itself, you're going to see it's all very basic. There's no not going to be any priorities in here. But if I look at the shape itself under the General tab, we have a priority of minus 100. So even though this masking shape is on the same drawing as the title block itself, by having as a priority of minus 100, it's actually underneath the title block line work itself and the title block text itself. So you really have three layers. You have your active title block, the text. You have then the shape that is masking, which is under the title block, but above the reference files. And then you have the reference file, which is under all three. And so it's at the bottom of the ladder. The shape is the middle run, and the title block itself is the top step of the ladder. And so how do we make all of this work? The first thing I want to do is I want to go back and look at the title block sheet and how we set that up. What you're looking at here is our master title block that we use for cross sections and we use for plan, for profile, plan profile, etc. And these red lines here are basically the windows or the views that are to be representing the edges of the profile port or the plan plan port, those types of things. And so um, you can see that it overlaps the title block. And so we kind of turn those off. Let's get those out of our way for just a minute. Now we can just focus on the title block itself. If we take a look at what we have here, this is just a normal shape drawn at the same boundary as the area that we want to mask. And what is particularly important here is that it is set to fill and our color and our fill color are both set to the background color, which has to be 255. And also important is we have the priority set to minus 100. Now, up here in your attributes, you can turn on or turn off. You'll see there the priority column or property. And so I just simply went in and placed a shape and we have it solid, and we have it uh, fill type set to opaque, and then our background color was set to 255. I placed that shape from corner to corner, and then with the properties, I went in and I set the priority to minus 100. And so that's how I drew that onto my master title block. So that is step one. One very important note here is when you're selecting the shape, if it's not highlighted like a solid, make sure that your fill attributes are turned on in your view and then save your settings. Uh, this will not work, obviously, without 
fill attributes turned on. And also in your sheet C definition, DG and lib, which we'll go back and look at, make sure that you have fill attributes turned on in your sheet model there as well. Very important step. Step two then is in our sheet C definition. We take a look at that one. One of the things that I did here was notice that the plan and profile ports, when that was created, I manually changed those priorities to minus one after the sheet C definition was set up. And so that's important that you, you do switch those to a minus one. The other thing that I did was I merged into master the title block as well as the masking shape. And so that is not referenced into this file. But I do still have the priority here set to minus 100. And so everything, just like it was in the master title block sheet before I referenced and merged, it's all the settings are the same. And so here we have the same scenario. We have the title block text and line work on top. We have the shape set to priority minus 100 in this file. So therefore, it's underneath this text and line work. And then we have the references set to minus one, which means they draw underneath the active file. And so this title block and this shape are in the active file. Therefore, they have the higher priority and the references are set to a priority of minus one. Now, the next thing we need to think about is when we're actually sheeting out our plan sheets or our plan and profile sheets, etc. In order for this all to work properly, we need to have those attached at a priority of minus one. So they will be underneath the active file or in our case, underneath the title block. There is a new switch that is now available in Open Roads Designer Connect Edition on our default settings for reference file attachments. And we can set a default attachment priority to minus one. So therefore our reference files end up underneath our title block. Now, someone may say, well, I may not always want this to be a priority of minus one. Well, remember, you can always change the property after it's attached if you want to. By setting this in your configuration variables, it allows the priority to be set to minus one when the sheets are created so the user doesn't have to go in and change them. So the final result, if we go back into our sample, as you can see here, again, just as a review, the title block and its line work and text is on top. The shape is under that, but yet in the active file. So therefore it has a higher priority than the reference files because the reference files are set to a priority of minus one. And this will all happen automatically for the user as they cut their sheets if you follow the process that has been outlined. Thank you for your time.